mobile homes. A lot of people want to knock them. Oh, why would I want to rehab the mobile home? Or I don't want to do that. I see it a little different. When you're looking at these mobile homes, lots of times they're really nice or they can be really nice. Plus, if there's a buyer for that product, why do I care? You know, we can rehab it. Very similar. There are some things we want to make sure we cover, but lots of times we can get a product that's perfect for our end buyer because a lot of the mobiles that we buy are on a bigger piece of land. This one's on over half an acre, right? Which is big for some of our clients. And when we come in and go to repair it, we're still putting down floors, we're still painting, we're still checking the electrical, making sure the plumbing. So everything's good, very similar to what we would do, but lots of times we can get them at a lower price. Now, what I would caution you on is there, the rehabs, sometimes they can be a little less than full cost, but don't think just because it's a mobile that it's gonna be cheap, cheap to finish it out because lots of times, depending on how big it is and how damaged it is, it can be similar to what we're doing on a single family house. Now, if you get it a lot cheaper and you know what you can sell it for, what does it matter, right? Just run your numbers. It just happens to be a mobile. The things you got to watch out for, like some of the doors, doors will be a different size. So you can't just go to Home Depot and buy your standard door and put that door in here. One that surprised me is like these outlets. These outlets are different than what you find in like a single family home. And you can't just run to Home Depot and buy them. Not only are they different where you're getting a 10 pack really cheap for a regular house, these are a lot more expensive. It's like six times the price. So if you're looking at that, there are things that you want to learn as you go through mobile homes. Do you factor in that different cost? You want to check the septic because a lot more of them are on septic and that can be a huge cost making sure it's good. If you have to change out all the electrical, factor that in which pieces of that electrical is going to cost a lot more. The flooring that we put in them, very similar to the flooring that we're going to put in other houses, it's still going to cost us the same. So you can bring that cost over. But when you look at a lot of people, very happy with them, especially if I'm there on a bigger piece of land. This one, like I said, it's a half acre. We just did one on a full acre. We've done some on two, three acres. There's a lot of people that really want that land and you give them a really nice mobile home, they're happy to have it. So I would say, don't just turn them off just because they're mobile homes. And then if you're gonna do it, either talk to somebody who's done it before, knows where some of those cost differences is, some of the things to look out for, but then factor that in there. And if you get it at the right price, might be a great idea to take one on and then you can buy some things that other people wouldn't do. And then you can do some deals that you might miss out on because some people say, oh, I don't want a mobile home. I hope this helps. If we can do anything for you, give us a shout 210-201-6644 or on the website, sellmysanantoniohouse.com.